To create a new account on the online exhibition image management system, enter the website URL into your browser. Then click on the Click Here link to open up the login and registration dialog box. Enter your chosen username, password and email address. The system will check to see if the email address already exists on the system. If it does exist, you can use the reset password option to create a new password. After you submit your registration details, you will get a confirmation message on the screen. Check your email client for an email from no reply at simgr.com. Open this email and click on the link in the email body. A website page will open and an email confirmed message will display. You can then close down this page and refresh the original registration page before logging in with your new registration details. If everything is correct, you will see the main page of the website with various menu options at the top of the page, and other information displayed below. Once you have successfully logged into the system, you can access various menu options. Under Settings, you can edit your personal details. This includes an option to add or edit your personal contact and address details. These details are optional and not required for the system to fully function. On the free version, you cannot disable system notifications or image sharing in the news pages. You also have the option to change what information is displayed on the front screen by changing the various selections available. You can also delete your account and all associated details and images from an option at the bottom of the screen. Warning. This option cannot be undone. Also, under Settings, you have the option to view your progress towards various distinction targets. You can change what distinction targets are displayed by returning to the Edit Personal Details option and clicking on the various organizations displayed as tick boxes towards the bottom of the screen. The Distinction Targets page also allows you to set the dates of when you achieved a specific award or target. This will then automatically display the next available target for that organization. On the premium version, you can also export the specific distinction data as a formatted CSV file for inclusion with an electronic application form. One of your first jobs is to add your images to your personal portfolio. To select an image as an exhibition entry, it first has to exist in your portfolio. To add an image, select the menu option Portfolio, and then the Add to Portfolio option. Then to add an image, you just have to drag the image from the desktop onto the Upload to Portfolio drop area. You can also click on the Upload to Portfolio drop area, and this will trigger the System File Manager. Once the image is uploaded, you can click on the image to show it larger and give you access to the image category options. You can also access and edit the image details by clicking on the menu option, Portfolio, Edit Image Details option. You can add as many images as you like to your portfolio by continuing to drag and drop onto the drop area. The system initially takes the file name 
as the image title, but this title can be edited in the menu option, Portfolio, Edit Image Details. You can edit and set each individual image category, by clicking on the image, in the various locations it's displayed. Setting the image category, for each image in your portfolio, will give you the option to filter your images, for easy selection in exhibitions. You can set multiple categories for each image. You currently have, color, monochrome, nature, wildlife, landscapes, pure, creative, and retire, as options. Pure is meant to represent an image that has had minimal adjustments. Retire allows you to flag the image as retired. It will no longer appear in the exhibition image selector. Once you have a good selection of images in your portfolio, you can start the exhibition selection process. To see what exhibition records already exist, click on the menu option, Exhibitions, Full List. Assuming that you are ready to make your selection, for an exhibition, that is currently open, you can pick that exhibition from the list. Once the exhibition entry page is open, you can click on, Select Image, in the section you wish to enter. This will activate the image selector at the bottom of the page. You can filter the images displayed in the image selector, by clicking the tick options, or by using the image title search. You can also navigate through the filtered images by using the larger white navigation buttons. These will move you forwards and backwards through the filtered images. You also have an option to show only accepted images or awarded images as a filter. Once you have located the image you wish to select, you just click on that image, and it will appear as part of the entry.
Once you have received your results from an exhibition, you can transfer them into the exhibition records. You can pick exhibitions that you have created an entry record for, from the menu option, Exhibitions, Entered. Once the exhibition selection page is open, click on the Results button, at the top of the page. This will open a list of the images, you selected for the exhibition, and allow you to type in the scores and awards against each image. When you leave this results page, the exhibition selection page will also show this information. Once you have some results recorded in the system, you can filter your images by their performance. Choose the menu option, Portfolio, Edit Image Details. There are various sorting filters at the top of each column, which will sort your images, by accepted, by awarded, by date, and by success rate. If you look for an exhibition in the list, and it doesn't exist, you can create a new exhibition record. To create a new exhibition record, click on the menu option, Exhibitions, Add New Exhibition. Complete the form presented on the screen in as much detail as possible. Do not add the date or exhibition iteration in the main title box, but use the notes in separate year declaration box. Once you have added the main exhibition record, you can then add the individual section records, including the number of images allowed in the section, the acceptance score for the section, and whether the section is a print or digital section. You can add as many sections, as is required, in the exhibition.